Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Professor Amanda Martin. I am a professor of English and law. I began teaching in 2002 with the Community College of the Air Force instructing air traffic control. Since then, I have taught everything from PhD students all the way down to kindergartners, and I absolutely love to teach. One of my favorite subjects is English. Law is very grammar intensive, and I learned a lot earning my Juris Doctorate degree, mostly about English and grammar. The way you write things to express communication, there are many cases in the records where million dollar cases have been lost based on the placement of a comma or a forgotten period. Things like that can make all the difference in a legal matter. And while they may not be as impactful in our day-to-day -day lives when we write, good grammar does things like help to set us apart at the workplace. Your boss is going to come to you way faster than he's going to go to anyone else if he knows you're going to be able to write a proper sentence and make him look really good to his superiors. Also, when you are um, doing written communication, you want to make sure that you are sounding as smart as possible. You want to be the person where you make that first impression with someone and they're just going to think, wow, this person is definitely a person that I want to continue communicating with. This person has everything together and they seem like they're going to get the job done. They are very bright and I want to work with this person. Sometimes our written communication is our first introduction. It is the, the very first thing that, that someone gets to know or experience or judge about us. When someone's looking at you, they're going to judge you a different way than when they can only hear your voice. They're also going to judge you a completely different way if all they can see is what's written down in front of them. And because that's all someone has to go off of, most of us do tend to get pretty judgmental when we read other people's writings. If you have not been grammar savvy in the past, you may not have experienced this. But for those of us that have studied grammar for many, many years, we tend to pick up on things such as missed commas, run on sentences, fragments, things like that. And it really distinguishes the very highly educated people from those that may not have received as high of an education. And regardless of the level of education you've actually achieved, you do not need to go to college. You don't need a doctorate's degree. All you need is a few key pieces of wisdom that you can use to apply to change your writing habits. It's all about knowing just just enough to sound like you have a phenomenal command of the English written language. I am very happy that you have decided to make a change in your writing and if you would like to improve your writing no matter what the purpose is for. Maybe it's for work, maybe you would like to start a blog, um, maybe you just are embarrassed because you know that you write the same way that you talk. When we tend to talk, we go on and on until we run out of breath. When we first begin writing, we tend to write in that same way. We write until our hand starts to cramp up and then we tend to put a period at the end. We don't want to do that. We want to get out of the habit. You are in the right place. I can absolutely help you and I will teach you a couple key techniques that will transform your writing and it will be a life changer. I promise you. So stick with me, grab a pen and paper, take lots of notes, grab a snack, and let's jump right into the lesson. Thank you. Hello and welcome. I am so happy that you are joining me. I'm Professor Amanda Martin. I am an English and law professor. 
I have an undergraduate degree in aerospace science and a Juris Doctor, which is a law degree. I have been teaching since 2002 when I started teaching with the Community College of the Air Force in Germany. I was teaching air traffic controllers. At the time, English did not really come into play, and since then I have learned so much about the English language, about grammar, and by the time I got to law school, I really realized, even though I thought I had perfect grammar, I, I learned that I did not. One, two, three, starting over. Hello and welcome. I am so happy that you are here. I'm Professor Amanda Martin, Professor of English and Law. I first began teaching in 2002 with the Community College of the Air Force in Germany, where I was instructing and certifying air traffic controllers. Since then, I have taught everything from kindergarten all the way up to PhD students, and I love to teach. More importantly, I love to teach grammar and English. In law, grammar is so important. We are taught early in our legal career that cases can often be made or break by the placement of a comma. Many people have heard um, about the very common case, one, two, three, in the courtroom, cases can be won or lost over the placement of comma. If an attorney misplaces a comma, it could change the entire meaning of everything they are trying to convey in that sentence. That one sentence could cost you a million dollar lawsuit or could lose you a case where a million dollars is at stake. In our everyday writing, typically a million dollars is not at stake, but what is at stake is your reputation, your intelligence, how smartly you can convey yourself in written communication. And these are things that we need to cherish, right? If someone is judging you based on your writing and that's the first impression they are getting of you, you want to come across as perfect as possible. With that, the written communication is a communication all on its own. And I am here to teach you how to elevate your writing no matter what the purpose is for so that you can make a lasting first impression where someone is going to identify correctly that you are bright and brilliant and intelligent and someone that they want to work with whether you are creating a blog doing business correspondence um, working as a secretary doing a lot of communication back and forth with other with other members of the community, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Starting over again. Hello and welcome. I'm Professor Amanda Martin and I am so happy that you are here. I am glad that you have decided to make a change for whatever reason to improve your grammar. No matter how perfect you think your grammar is, there is always room to improve. And if you are here, you will learn several key, one, two, three. Hi, I'm Professor Amanda Martin, and I am so happy that you are here. I am a professor of English and law, and I love to teach. I have taught everything from kindergarten all the way up through PhD students and really everything in between. I first began teaching in 2002 while I was stationed in Germany as a active duty member of the Air Force. I was training and certifying air traffic controllers and I fell in love with teaching and I have been teaching pretty much ever since. I love grammar I love to be able to convey the brilliance and intelligence through written communication, which is completely different from speech and the way we communicate through talking.
I am going to give you one, two, three. I am going to teach you a handful of things that you can use to improve your grammar quickly. You don't need to go to college. You definitely don't need a PhD. You don't need to be a grammarian. You simply need to learn a few key things and know how to apply them to your everyday writing. Whether you have a blog, whether you do a lot of business correspondence, whether you're a student at any level, this will work just as well for second graders as it will for middle-aged adults or even older. Anyone that wants to improve their written communication, this is the place. I will teach you all about the different parts of speech, how to form all the different types of sentences. We're going to start from scratch. And at the end, if you still make mistakes, I will teach you everything you know on how to quickly correct them and to get back on track. Thank you so much for being here. I'm honored that you chose to enroll in this course.